What's going on? Just got me a PM done. And um And I always like to tell people, man, you need to get the uh you take care of the goose that lays the golden egg. And so whatever whatever preventative maintenance you gotta do on your tractor or your bus or whatever business that you're in, and however you gotta keep it up, make sure you keep it keep it up because uh, you know, that's the goose that's laying the golden egg, and if you don't take care of the goose that's laying the golden egg, you won't have no more golden eggs. And so, yeah, I got me a PM done, and um, how much was it? I went and got the ultimate PM, and so I think it was like three, yeah, three ninety five thirty eight to get me an oil change, PM done, and everything like that. So. I got a buddy of mine. He would have told me, man, just do it yourself. I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, I, I I only like to do stuff if it's, you know, if it's, uh, like, necessary. And that is not necessary. But, uh, man, while I was here, getting my PM done. Oh, also, too. Landstar gives a discount. Uh, you get a discount if you go to the uh, TA and get your PM done. So you can get you a discount if you go to the PA and get your... Uh, I mean, if you go to the TA and get your um, uh, preventative maintenance done. So, yeah, man. Um, it was a little strange because while I was there... Um, I told the guy that was working on the truck, hey, man, I'm, you know, I'm just going to chill in the truck. He was like, okay. He was like, you sure you don't want to get out, man, and go get something to eat? I told him I already ate. So he asked me this like three times. And after he done asked me three times, I'm like, you know, it's kind of getting, like, suspicious. Like, do you want me to leave my truck for some reason? You know, you know, a lot of people you can't trust around your truck. So uh, tip number two, or here's another tip, always lock your doors no matter if you're just going uh to the back of the trailer or what because man people will sneak up in there because you're in this you're in this truck and this truck is like your home and you got valuables up in here and you don't want to um you don't want to you know leave your door unlocked and people come in here and get something real quick and haul off with it so uh yeah always man lock your doors and so even when I went to the, uh, even when I went to go take a, uh, I went in there to sit down in the lobby just for a few minutes. I locked my doors. When I went to go pay, I locked my doors. Cause man, you never know. People will run up in here real quick, but they was looking sort of suspicious. Want me to get out my truck and go eat or something like, man, if, I, if I'd have told you I already ate, hey, why are you trying to get me to get out the truck? And people will steal your stuff, you know? mechanics have been known to steal out of trucks i'm not saying every mechanic but some mechanics are known to steal out of trucks but uh yeah landstar does give a discount uh when you go to the ta i'm not gonna share with you what ta did ta uh you know i had this little incident at but but it was at the ta um also did i tell you to take care of the goose that lays to go to egg Yes, I did. Yeah. So, man, when you get out here on this road, man, make sure that you make sure that you're, you know, taking care of your truck. Uh, uh, whether it's tires or windshields or, you know, tightening up stuff when it needs to be tightened up, getting your regular PMs and, um, you know, make sure you do a good pre-trip all the time because you can come across something that you didn't never know was there and you can get it fixed and it'll cost you less money um to go ahead and get it fixed than to be out on the road now you got to have a road call and somebody got to come out there get you and somebody got to come out there and fix it on side of the road which is going to jack up the price even more so if you know your starter is going out go ahead and replace the starter if you know your um uh, if you know, uh, you know, your belt is about to pop, go ahead and replace the belt instead of getting uh, out on the road 
in Europe in North Dakota somewhere and a and a belt pop <laughs> and you gotta pay somebody three hundred dollars to come out there in the middle of nowhere to bring you a belt that costs like twenty or twenty five dollars and now you gotta pay on top of that too. And so they're gonna jack the price up two or three times more, uh two or three times uh what the thing is worth, so it ain't even worth it. Just go ahead and do a good pre trip, do preventative maintenance and um you know, take care of, uh, of the goose that's laying the golden egg. I know so, I know a few people right now that's in the trucking business or that has their own, uh, you know, they had their own bus or they own, uh, you know, their own business. And they, don't, they don't take care of their stuff. And when you don't take care of your stuff, your stuff going to tear up, you know. I remember, uh, it's a story about a guy who uh, who started off, you know, he had an axe, and he had, he had his his axe was sharp, and he would cut him down like fifty trees a week. You know, that's just a number that I'm throwing out there. He was cutting down like fifty trees a week, and then he kept cutting down trees, and then it, the number would get lower and lower each week. And so the next week he cut down forty, next week he cut down thirty, and then he get got to the point to where he just it take him all day to chop down one tree. Uh, it took, take him all all week to chop down one tree, and why? Because he didn't take care, he didn't take care of the axe. He didn't stop to take care of the axe. So if he would have stopped and taken care of the axe, and you know, um, would have sharpened the axe, he would have been able to keep up with production and keep on cutting down fifty trees a week. But because he didn't stop to sharpen the axe, get what? Guess what? Now your production is cut down. That's the same thing in business. Or uh, when you have something of your own, take care of it. And when you take care of it, uh, it'll last longer. So this your boy signing out. Make sure you like uh, and uh, subscribe. And if you have any information, any questions or anything like that right there, um, send me an email at uh, CatherineLogistics at gmail.com. That's C O. T as in Thomas, H as in Henry, R A N, logistics at gmail.com. All right. I know that's a long name, but get used to it. Make sure you subscribe and tap that bell on the side so you get the um, notifications when I throw up a video. I'm going to be talking about some more stuff here real soon. So I appreciate all the people that's following, liking the videos, and you know reaching out to me and everything like that. Uh, for information. I love to get information about, uh, you know, trucking because a lot of people, you know, some people, they get information, man, and they, and they, they'll hold on to it because they don't want nobody, they scared somebody else is going to get it and, and outdo them. But hey, we all in this thing together. So, all righty. I'll let you.